please welcome Elevate Mad Scholar Awoma Akbardu. <laughs> Are you guys having a good time? Are you guys having a good time? It's a pleasure to be here. My name is Awama Baudu. I'm a Mayo Clinic medical student, a Stanford MBA candidate, and an Elevate Med Scholar. I'm honored to present the Trailblazer Award. Elevate Med is proud to announce Trailblazer Award recipient, Mr. Larry Fitzgerald Jr. and the Larry Fitzgerald Foundation for their remarkable efforts in championing breast belief a breast cancer awareness campaign curated by the foundation. The Elevate Med Trailblazer Award is awarded to individuals who are making extraordinary contributions within the world of healthcare with the intent of eradicating health disparities. Larry Fitzgerald Jr. is the founder of the Larry Fitzgerald Foundation, a respected philanthropist, business owner, investor, and former wide receiver for the National Football League. The Larry Fitzgerald Foundation was established in honor of his mother, Carol Fitzgerald, who sadly passed away from breast cancer in 2003. The foundation's mission supports youth education and breast cancer awareness and has made a significant impact across Arizona and Minnesota. The Breast Belief Campaign of the Larry Fitzgerald Foundation was established in 2022 with the mission of educating communities of color about early detection, prevention, symptoms, treatment, resources, and access surrounding breast cancer diagnosis for women and men. Through free mammograms, educational events, and grant support, the organization continues to provide resources and support to aligned organizations, women, men, and families who have experienced the impact of a breast cancer diagnosis. Now, those of you who are familiar with Larry Fitzgerald know that he is without a doubt a future first ballot NFL Hall of Fame inductee. But tonight's award will induct him into a different select group, the Health Disparities Hall of Fame. From getting to sit down with Larry for this award, I was blown away by his humble, gentle spirit and genuine passion for improving the lives of those from disadvantaged communities. As you'll see in just a moment, Larry truly epitomizes the mission of Elevate Med and deeply understands exactly what it means to leverage our privilege, resources, and passion to change lives. I certainly hope that that's a mission that we all become more inspired to take on. Here on behalf of the Larry Fitzgerald Foundation is Ms. Danielle Frost, the Foundation's Executive Director. Thank you so much for being here with us. Now I have the distinct honor of presenting this award to Mr. Fitzgerald and speaking to him about his impact. Breast Believe aims to educate communities about early detection, prevention, symptoms, treatments, resources, and access to rounding a diagnosis. We are committed to providing resources for local organizations and nonprofits prioritizing breast cancer awareness, especially in historically underserved communities. Not just in October, but year round. Breast Believe. Go to the Larry Fitzgerald Foundation.org to learn more. My name is Ewoma Baudu, and I'm a medical student at Mayo Clinic and an Elevate Med Scholar. I'm delighted to be here with Larry Fitzgerald of the Larry Fitzgerald Foundation to talk with us about the work that he's doing with Breast Belief. Larry, thank you so much for joining us. It's an honor. Congratulations on all your success. It's, uh, it's been wonderful chatting with you before we got on camera. Yeah, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. First of all, congratulations on being presented with the Elevate Med Trailblazer Award. Well, congratulations to you. you know, you're the real <laughs> rock star here. Uh, you know, living the purpose-driven life, and uh, it's been an honor to meet you, and congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much. Yeah. You know, it's great just hearing about the work that you've been doing with your organization. I understand that it's very personal to you and very close to your heart. Do you mind telling me a little bit more about that? Yeah, well, first I would love to uh, thank Dr. Porter and the board of uh, Elevate Med for nominating me and, and allowing me to, to be the recipient. I'm sorry I couldn't be uh, in person tonight. Um, I had a previous commitment. But um, to get back to your question, um, you know, I, I grew up in a family um, of women that were, you know, dealing with a lot of health issues. My mother 
had breast cancer. My mom's older sister had breast cancer. My grandma had a, had a bout with breast cancer. My I had a cousin that has had a bout with breast cancer. So it's really affected us wow. in a in a way that um, you know I would never want to see any other family affected. And um, you know I was very young when, when I was going through these things with our family, and I saw just the community that bonded around uh, my mother and, and, and her sister and her mother. Right. And then I would see other people that were receiving treatment that were not getting that same care, weren't getting that same love. So we were very mm -hmm. fortunate to be able to have um, great health care, but there's a lot of people around the country, around the world that are not able to get that. And you know, my mission when I um, was able to start my foundation was to be able to try to alleviate those pressures that families face. And you know, it's, it's tough enough when you're diagnosed with, with breast cancer, but when you think about not having the resources, uh, the capital and the support to be able to fight that battle, I mean, it's um, it's devastating to think about that. And so that was kind of the reasoning behind um, starting the foundation, starting the campaign and really being able to put some force behind it. I'm just sitting here thinking about everything that you, that you shared, and it's yeah. almost like we're running two different races. You have people who are set so far back and now they're trying to play catch up with mm -hmm. all these obstacles that are now in front of them. Yeah. It's amazing that you've been able to impact so many different lives and so many different families. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't have the heart that I that I have if it wasn't for the sacrifices my mother made. Um, she she founded two non-for-profit organizations back home in the Twin Cities area. I grew up in Minneapolis and seeing her heart, her dedication, her drive, and, and it wasn't like she was pouring a lot of capital into these organizations. She didn't have a lot of money, but she poured her time in, which I feel like is more important because, you know, it, it takes you personally showing up every yeah. single day for people. And, you know, from watching people transition on from, you know, battling HIV and AIDS with one of her organizations to seeing women, you know, um, you know, her you know, helping them get wigs and other resources, you know, when they're losing their hair during chemotherapy, you know, that was really a great shining example of what, it, what it's supposed to look like. And, um, you know, so she set a great example uh, of showing up, um, you know, being the person who not only talked to talk, but walked to walk. And, um, and so it never was good enough for me just to, to write a check, right? I needed mm -hmm. to be there on the grounds and making sure people knew um, that it, I wasn't just some faceless organization that was helping with funding. And it, don't don't take anything away from funding because that's necessary, right, to be able to fight these battles. But it also is a human element when you can go put your hands on somebody and give them a hug and tell them how much you're thinking about them and how much you want to see them persevere and get through these things that they're dealing with. And, um, you know, so just watching those things happen as a, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten year old going to those organizations and seeing my mom do that, you know, it, it really resonated with me. So I saw hundreds of stories like that. And, you know, so whenever we can impact people's lives in a positive way now, you know, it just adds on to those success stories. And, you know, it kind of fuels me and, and Danielle and everybody else in our organization to continue to fight that battle. Larry, thank you so much for all the work that you've been doing with your foundation and support for Elevate Med. And I wanted to present to you today the 2023 Elevate Med Trailblazer Award. Well, thank Congratulations. You. Thank Congrats. you so much, Doc. Appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Um, you guys done an amazing job, and um, this award means a lot to me. Um, and I promise you to continue to live up to the standard uh, of Elevate Med. And I look forward to being back here years from now when they present you with the Trailblazer Award. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Miss Danielle Frost, you might come to the stage. Give a hand, a round of applause. I wish uh, Larry could be here with us, but thank you so much for being here with us tonight, and thank you and the organization for everything that you do. It's an honor to present you with this award. Please accept it on behalf of Elevate Med.